Hi, I'm Katie Farrenbacher with GigaOM TV's Green Overdrive Show, and we're here in Richmond, California at the Green Car Expo, which is focused on bringing in consumers to look at the next generation of green cars, plug-in hybrids, and electric vehicles. And I'm here with Gil Portaladin, um, and he is in charge of Ford's hybrid electric battery program. Well, hybrid electrics and battery electric vehicles. Okay, and we're standing in front of the Ford Escape Hybrid. That's right, it's a plug-in hybrid. Okay, and this is the SUV plug-in hybrid, but it's not a commercial car, right? No, no, it's a, it's a SUV plug-in hybrid. It's one of our prototypes that we've working with the um, utilities to introduce, develop, and get some feedback on a technology. So this is a plug-in, uses uh, lithium-ion batteries, and it's also what makes this one unique is it also can use E85 fuel. Okay, and this is one of 20. That's correct. Okay, and what are you doing with these cars? Well, we're collecting data, not only for Ford, but for the utilities, because we need to understand how fleets and customers use them. So basically you're using all this data to make sure that the power grid doesn't go down and there's all these blackouts when, that, the, when the cars plug in. That's correct, because if you can imagine uh, a whole neighborhood full of plug-in type vehicles and everyone plugs them in at the same time, that's a huge tax burden on the, on the grid. Okay, can you show me what's under the hood? Absolutely. And what you see here underneath this cover is an Atkinson Cycle four-cylinder engine. And so basically what an Atkinson Cycle differs from your conventional engine is, is that it uses less fuel. Okay. And what you're looking at over here, this is the DC to DC converter. And what that does is that converts high voltage energy to 12 volt. There's unique uh, coolant loops in here. This is actually the hybrid transaxle right there. And on top of it is all the electronics that allow us to engage the two motors. One motor literally drives the vehicle and captures energy during regen or deceleration. So mm -hmm. when you take your foot off the gas, you're actually recharging the battery. Right. And then when you step on the brake, you also recharge the battery. What are the miles per gallon on this? This thing is getting close to 100. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's like city driving or highway city, driving? City driving, City yeah. driving, yeah. okay. So this is the battery? Yep, not, not a lot to see, but basically underneath this, this is one of our prototype lithium ion batteries and this is what charges and runs our, our vehicle. So how does the hybrid system work? So it, it uses the battery when it uh, starts driving and then you can kind of drive for the first however many miles on the battery? Electrically, so one of two systems. It, it's a blend, what we call a blended system. Mm -hmm. So if you start the vehicle and the battery's fully charged, you can drive off electrically and you can drive off electrically on this particular prototype uh, probably for about 30 miles, roughly. So this is the first SUV we've driven, um, and it looks a lot different than, say, the Lincoln or the other cars that we've been driving the past couple weeks. Um, is this, this is the standard uh, Ford Escape That's SUV? That's correct. Yeah. Everything inside is basically standard Ford, Ford Escape, so you can get this in the Escape Hybrid as well. Okay. There you go. i just drive. Okay. You're all set to go. <laughs> and it's not completely silent like the Lincoln. No, this one, why it's on, it's cold. And uh, it's also probably battery state of charge, I want to say, is a little low. Okay. So it'll charge up and it'll go So it's actually on the, end, the engine right now. Okay. Yeah. Am I still driving on electric mode? Yes, Can you, you are. Tell? Okay. Yes, you are. So if so, I drive more acceleration, it'll kick in to. No, and it'll tell you by the tachometer. You see the tachometer there? Which and before, that? that's it right there. That's and when it's in the green mode, you're in electric. So when you stepped on the accelerator, it says, okay, you want power. Yeah. So I'm going to so give you power. So it switches into the gas. Yes. Okay. Oh. Bump. So could you even tell when it went into gas? No, it's pretty seamless. Yeah, that's one of, that's one of the things we pride ourselves in, that seamless transition. Yeah, it felt similar to the Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely different than the um, Priuses that I've driven. You can definitely tell when it goes in and out yeah. of gas and electric. What do you guys do to make that technology seamless? It, it, it's actually our proprietary uh, algorithms and controls, you know, and that's basically what it is. How do you control, how do you sync up the engine and the electric motor so that you don't get that abruptness? Yeah. yeah so it's all in the control strategy. So it feels pretty much like a standard car. You know, it feels like my, my parents' car, they have an SUV. And, yeah, and that's the whole point, yeah. right? Because we've all grown up on typical gasoline vehicles and so we've been trained a certain way so the whole point is you just get in and you drive the way you normally drive and don't have to worry about anything different unless you you plug it in and you drive electrically okay Gil thank you very much for the Thanks. drive this was our first SUV on the green overdrive show and, and I'm glad it was a Ford <laughs>